Let's take a look. This is what today's severe weather left behind. Buildings crushed, the remains scattered everywhere. One man close to the family says he's still in shock. It's pretty devastating for the whole family. Uh, terrific for anybody who's in a, in a situation like this. Officials say after receiving a call about the tornado, more than 15 firefighters showed up to the scene. I got here just before I did, advised me that there was a lot of damage to the area, so we upped our response to pretty much all of our fire department to come out and assist. Oven Cameron, the severe weather caused heavy flooding and high winds, causing some trees to be knocked down. This happening near the intersection of 2269 and 22nd Street. The first tornado watch came out just after 1030 this morning for most of central Texas. Five severe thunderstorm warnings and eight tornado warnings followed from 2 to almost 6 this afternoon. There it is, and we were talking about that, Michelle, you know what? Fox 44's chief meteorologist Mike LaPointe spent much of the afternoon tracking and warning people about the strength of the storms. Although there was severe damage, there's one major silver lining. We're thankful to the good Lord that nobody's life was lost in all of this. Yes, thankfully there were no death or injuries reported. Live in the newsroom, Shaquille Amari, Fox 44 News. Well, heavy rain throughout the region was creating flash flooding conditions.